Frontera. Mm-hmm. That's a whole different ball game there. Coach Tony Harris of the Mack High Bulldogs joining us here in the huddle on 840 Fox Sports Radio. Coach, good morning. Happy Cinco de Mayo to you. Well, thank you. Hey, I just took a shower and shave so I didn't embarrass you guys on TV here. We appreciate that. It's very important to know. It is Saturday, too, in the doghouse, so you, you do have to yeah. shave and, and, and shower on Saturdays, right? Well, I figure if you two guys got a shot of getting on TV, I certainly do. No, no, no. We have no shot. That's why we are on the Internet. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, it looks like a TV if you got a big enough computer. Oh, is, oh, is that how you're rolling now? I got oh, yeah, you. Oh, yeah. I got you, Coach. You were at the uh, the Porter game last night with uh, with the Lady Bulldogs, right? Yes, sir. And we're playing we're outstanding right now. Tell me about it. I mean, obviously, I can I can ask you to break down a defense, and you can go into depth in that. How is your your softball skills? They're not bad. They're not bad. I've seen a lot of softball games. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about last night's. How did how did it go for us? Well, you know, we were worried about Porter. Porter put, what, 37 or 40-some runs on Harlingen last week in their two-game series. And we were very concerned about their hitting ability. We went over and played at Porter. And our little pitcher, Savannah, she played outstanding. And our girls hit the ball when we needed to hit the ball. And we got two home runs. They got one home run. It was a heck of a ball game. It went back and forth. And now the series the series will shift back to, uh, to McAllen today, right? Right, yeah, it's a three-game series, and, and fortunately we got the first one, so we play at three, and then if we need another one, we play at five. And we had to go to the afternoon because the hail busted out our lights. Really? Well, you know, they have those lights, all athletic field lights have those lenses on them. And what the lens does, it keeps you from getting that blue spot in your eyes. Right. So what the hail did is it busted all those out. So if you turn on our lights, it is very, very right and it's really difficult to play if, if a girl was looking up into that light there's no way she'd catch the ball what other damage did the uh, the storm do because i know that uh you're getting a pretty much an, essentially a new gymnasium floor right yeah because we don't have one now <laughs> the hail <laughs> came in it beat up our roof so bad that it was almost raining harder on the next day in the gym than it was the night before wow. and they came in wow. and, and they completely tore out our gym and then it you know, the roof on the auditorium is about the same design, and it destroyed our auditorium, our wood floor in there, and our carpet, and messed up our band hall roof and tore down all of our fences on the softball, tennis, baseball, busted out our lenses on the on the lights on the tennis and the softball, tore a dugout, our home dugout in baseball, tore the roof right off. It really caused some damage. So which was the facility that received the least damage? Because I know Roe had some damage, but Roe was having some games at Memorial. Didn't Is it safe to say Memorial was the safest? Uh, what I think happened was Memorial's baseball field didn't get damaged. Obviously, they've got the, they've got the great wall there for a baseball fence. It's made of metal, so it didn't go down. So we played our baseball games at Memorial, and then Roe's softball field wasn't damaged, so we played our softball games at Roe. Okay. And it was just a, hey, we're all going to pull together as one family and and use each other's facilities. Well, step family. Let's not go that far. <laughs> <laughs> we, we all got the gold bloodline that's running through there, Coach. Come on now. There you go. There you go. We'll give them that. <laughs> Coach Tony Harris of the Mack High Bulldogs joining us here in the huddle on 840 Fox Sports Radio. The Lady Bulldogs softball team going to be in action at 3 o'clock today and, if necessary, at 5 o'clock playing host to Brownsville Porter. Do you know what the next step is for our winner of the series? Yeah, we play Edinburgh North. Edinburgh North won last night 2 to nothing in a one-game series against uh, Eagle Pass win. So the next round is going to be Edinburgh North for whoever wins this series. So it's good to say that uh, we'll still have some Valley softball this coming week here here in the Valley to play. Yes, sir. You bet. How, are you doing any spring football or are you just strictly the fall? No, you know, it's too hot in the spring. We wait and get an extra week in the summer when it's a little cooler. <laughs> <laughs> so you can get yeah. that you can get that worldwide AP coverage of uh, one of your players laying down in a pool. That's right. That's right. Well, and you get that extra scrimmage, too. So we're going to take that extra scrimmage. It worked well for us last year, getting out of the blocks. And, you know, we got a new district, and it's you got to start earlier. You don't have you only have two non-district games. We're, we figured that the the extra scrimmage, we get two scrimmages and two games before we get thrown into the fire. So I was thinking it'll help. And how, how are the dogs looking for this coming season? 
Dogs is looking good. We may be, uh, instead of being Bulldogs, we may be St. Bernard's. We got some big old dudes. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we could start three guys on the offensive line over 300 pounds. Beefy. Yeah, we may have to change to the St. Bernard's. <laughs> We'll work on that. We'll work on making that possible. Coach, we appreciate the time. We look see look forward to seeing you this afternoon at 3 o'clock. Will you, will you be tanning out there at the uh, softball field? We'll have a little cocoa butter on. You know, just to, you know, I got some old skin that I got to save, so we'll, we'll have a little cocoa butter on, but it should be a nice day. You got to protect the hide, huh? Oh, yeah. All right, we'll see you soon, Coach. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Head coach Tony Harris of the Mack High Bulldogs joining us here in the huddle on 840 Fox Sports Radio. Coach Harris, always a, always a great man to have on.